The biggest downside of gaming on a Mac is that most games are not natively supported. Thankfully, you can use Boot Camp to install Windows 10 and have access to pretty much every Windows PC game available today. This handy utility comes bundled with every Intel Mac and lets you switch between Mac OS and Windows. It's very easy to set up, but a little mistake can ruin the whole process. So I'm here to help. Step one, getting your Mac prepared. Before we start using Boot Camp, there are important things to consider. Boot Camp requires a Mac with an Intel processor. Apple Silicon Macs are currently not supported for Boot Camp as of April 2021. This tutorial will only be focusing on Intel Macs released from 2015 and up. You can see a full list of these models on screen now. Previous Mac models back to 2012 do have the ability to use Windows 10 with Boot Camp, but their hardware is weak and not ideal for most modern games. Make sure your Mac is running the latest operating system. To do this, choose System Preferences from the Apple menu, then click Software Update to check for updates. Though you don't have to, it is highly recommended that you do a backup of your computer with Time Machine. It only takes a few minutes to set up and it means you don't have to worry if anything goes wrong, which it shouldn't anyway. You need at least 64 gigabytes of free storage space. That said, 128 gigabytes or more free storage space provides the best optimization for Windows 10. To easily free up space on your Mac, go to About This Mac, Storage, Manage, and this will give you a detailed rundown of what's on your Mac. Unplug any external devices that aren't necessary during installation. If you have a wired mouse and keyboard, you can obviously keep these plugged in. Step 2. Getting the Windows 10 Disk Image Microsoft offers a Windows 10 Disk Image for free, and you can install it without a product key. Click the link in the video description to download the ISO directly from Microsoft. From here, choose Windows 10, then select your product language and click Confirm. Now you must choose which Windows version you want to download. Make sure to download the 64-bit option, as most modern games are now 64-bit applications. Don't worry, you'll still be able to play your favorite 32-bit games this way. Allow the ISO to download and wait for it to finish. The disk image should be around 6 gigabytes, so it may take a while to download depending on your internet speeds. Once the download has completed, go to Spotlight Search and look for Boot Camp Assistant. Step 3. Using Boot Camp Assistant. From the Boot Camp menu, click Continue. Boot Camp should automatically locate the Windows 10 ISO from your Downloads folder. This part is very important. You need to decide your partition size. As we all know, games these days require a lot of storage. Set a partition size that meets your gaming needs but keep in mind, you can't change its size later. Once you've decided, click Install. The install process can take quite a while, so be patient. Be sure not to quit the installation or turn off your computer, as this can have huge negative effects on your Mac.
Once done, your Mac should automatically restart or Bootcamp may ask you to enter your password again. Step four, installing Windows 10. After your Mac has restarted, you'll be taken to the Windows 10 install setup. Choose your language information and continue on. Now, if you don't have a Windows product key, don't worry, you can click I don't have a product key. You can use Windows 10 for free forever basically, but eventually a watermark will appear asking you to register. Now choose Windows 10 Home and accept the license terms. Now the Windows setup will begin installing Windows 10 on your Mac. Once it's finished, your Mac will restart into Windows 10, getting devices ready and will restart again once that's finished. Now select your region, select your preferred keyboard layout. You don't need me for this. Just follow the easy steps until Windows gets the desktop ready for you. Step five, using the Bootcamp installer. You should now be on the Windows desktop and see the Bootcamp installer. Be sure to complete this as it installs important drivers on your Mac. If the installer doesn't open automatically, from File Explorer, open the OS X reserved partition, which is usually the D drive. Step six, gaming on Windows 10. You can now enjoy Windows 10 and most importantly, a wider catalog of amazing games. You'll have access to games that require DirectX, have better support for OpenGL and Vulkan titles, and you can enjoy 32-bit games, which are no longer supported under macOS. Some of the best places to get games under Windows are Steam, Epic Games Store, Origin, and Battle.net. If you want to play the latest AAA games, you will need one of the following Mac models with a dedicated graphics card. An Intel, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro 13 inch or Mac mini have integrated graphics chips and will never be ideal for playing games with advanced graphics. On screen are some recommended settings to play your games on, depending on your Mac model. This is a very rough outline, but should set you up in the right path. Remember, performance depends on the specs of your Mac. Don't expect much from Macs with integrated chips, as I've said. You should also track a game's frame rate to help with performance. For games under Steam, just enable the Steam FPS counter. Or you can download Fraps. There are more advanced ways of measuring performance, but these options will be ideal for most. The golden target is 60 frames per second for the best gaming experience, especially in shooting games or fast-paced action titles but anything above 30 FPS is honestly kind of a luxury for a Mac and should be okay for most of you. If you want to choose which operating system to boot into, when starting your Mac, hold Alt when turning on your Mac. If you want your Mac to automatically boot into either Windows 10 or Mac OS, under Windows 10, go down to Bootcamp Control Panel and choose your preferred startup disk. Under Mac OS, go to System Preferences and choose your preferred startup disk. Now, what if you want to remove the Bootcamp partition? Under macOS Relaunch Bootcamp Assistant, 
and click Restore to remove the Windows partition and restore the space used back to macOS. If you have any questions or concerns with installing Windows or playing games on your Mac, please join our Apple Gamers Discord server in the video description. Our support team is always available to help you.